Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 168. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the 134 KMS kilometers at Twin Ring Mategi. We're going to be driving the Porsche 911 73. Uh, obviously this is around twin ring. This is going to be a 28 lap race. There's going to be about 200,000 credits available for this. So, uh, let's get cracking, shall we? All right, here we go. Let's get cracking. Uh, I am going to turn the title up a tad. Because I think it's a bit quiet. Oh, and do you know what I haven't done? Gameplay audio. I need that on. Oh, sorry, I was too busy looking at my, uh, oh, oh, shit, shit, I'm too busy looking at my audio meters, making sure my audio is good, all right, we're sticking with it, I will admit, this, uh, Porsche is quite nice to drive, lovely little car. Bridge zone tires. But yeah, how is everyone doing today? Hopefully, everyone's having a great day. Hopefully soon we'll start seeing more people coming into stream, because obviously having six months off eh, doesn't do good for your numbers, that's for sure. But to be fair, the videos that I've been making, the numbers are doing okay, actually. So I'm pretty happy with those numbers. Bum, 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 bum. Good start so far. I've actually, um, so I've started editing. Wow, well, no, I say started. I've I've pretty much finished all the editing side of stuff. Um, for that long stream that we did. So all the footage that I actually recorded. Um. Yeah, Connor, I don't need a run and commentary of how many people are in the stream. <laughs> I already have that information in front of me. Like... <laughs> 
But yeah, um... What's it called? Um... I've edited all the footage. It's all... Wow, it's ready to be uploaded, bar like three of them, which are already uploaded. Uh, I ended up getting... I want to say 13 videos done. I got quite a few. But I was very lucky because the section that we actually did yesterday, there are a lot of shorter videos, so... But at least I have a pretty large backlog of content now. Um, the only thing is, uh, the video that just went up about an hour ago now, uh, that's the last video that's actually edited on the YouTube end. So like thumbnails, descriptions, titles, whatnot. That's the last video. Which means I don't have a video for tomorrow. So after I've done this, I won't be editing this footage till probably later. I'll probably get it onto the SSD and do all the file transfers so it's ready to be edited. But um, yeah, no, it's... I'm going to be up all night editing the YouTube side of stuff. Which is crazy. And then once that's done, hopefully I can get an hour of Formula 1 in before going to sleep. If I'm lucky. I probably won't be lucky though, so. I also need to get in contact with a couple of the uh, channel members that we had in the last stream. Because uh, they've actually got access to early access footage. So once those videos go up, I can actually send them the videos early which some people like having the early access some people not so much obviously it all depends but again I, d I don't know how I'm actually going to uh, go about doing that mm. to breathe the freshest air I climb the tallest ocean. I don't want to miss you. Keep dancing, keep dancing. I love the album, obviously it's it's been out for a, over a year now, but Wilkinson's latest album is so good. It's on the same level with like, um, sub focus is that, I'm very tempted to start like, I, I've got at the moment a tier list of all movies that I've watched uh, for this year, sort of, and I'm tempted to do the same, but with, like, drum and bass. Like, I'll do a tier list of... I don't know whether I'll do a tier list of drum and bass songs or whether it's just the albums. Because out of the past few years, there have been some really, really good drum and bass albums. And there have been some pretty shit ones as well. Um, I'd say definitely Fred V's album that he made was an A tier. It was a very good album. 
Sub Focus's recent one was S tier. It's phenomenal. So good. Um, yeah, there are there are some absolute crackers. There's some absolutely cracking songs out there. And then there are also some pretty shit ones. What up? How are you today? Long time no see. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've moved from Twitch, and I I had the decision right. Do I start streaming on Kick or do I just stream on YouTube? I made the executive decision to stick with YouTube because everything's already here. I don't have to start fresh. And there's not the hate that you get on Kick at the moment. A lot of people are really salty with Kick because Aiden Ross is there, and I don't think Aiden Ross is a good person. Personally, I'm I'm not a fan of Aiden Ross. Um, he seems a bit nuts. But at the same time, I don't think Aiden Ross is the reason to hate Kick either. But a lot of people don't like it because of the fact that he's, like, been paid so much money and whatnot by Kick. Me, at the end of the day, I don't really care. But at the same time, I don't really want to go to a platform where a lot of toxic people seem to be going as well. I know it's all about the community that you build at the end of the day. But that was one of the issues with Twitch. It's the fact that it was quite a toxic platform um, when it came to just people in general. It took a while for us to find, like, the, the people that we ended up getting coming into the stream were very chill people. But when you, when you go and become like a variety streamer like I did for a while, you get all sorts of people. Like... Once I settled down into like more just racing games, I found the people that sort of clicked, got along with. Ooh. I got no clue what happened, but that probably is on the video. Little bit of a stutter. say a little bit, it was literally the rain frozen for two seconds. But yeah, anyways, Game Nest, how are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Beautiful little car. Finished new PC. Ah, awesome. What kind of parts have you got? Or what stuff you got? And also, what did you do with the old one? Because it's always interesting to know what people do with their old PCs. Because a lot of people nowadays are doing things with their old PCs rather than just chucking them or selling them. We've got the old one as a server. That's what I'm planning on doing. So I want to, at some point, I want to upgrade the RAM in this. 
but I feel like I just want to save up and the plan is to move all of my drives I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a new PC with a I'm gonna take this graphics card because this is actually a decent graphics card put it in a new PC um, along with everything else being brand new uh, and then the plan is to then turn this into like a server like a file server and it'll have about I want to say about 16 terabytes of just storage space that I can use because I, I go through a lot of storage mostly it's like an archive drive uh, Ryzen 5 5700X that is Is that a 6 core 12 thread or a 8 core 16? I wouldn't say it's a 6 core because I believe that's the, just the newer version of what my CPU was. Ah, but the X might mean that it's 8 instead. Oh, Ryzen 7. Oh, I d that didn't even click then. I was reading the first part of the message. If it's a Ryzen 7, then yeah, that'll be an 8 core. Why not? RTX 3070 Ti, 32 gigabytes of RAM, not bad. I got the 3060. The only reason I chose 3060 over 3060 Ti was uh, the extra VRAM. Because this card has 12 gigs of VRAM, as opposed to the uh, 3060 Ti only having um, 8. When it comes to video editing and stuff like that, that VRAM is quite useful. I really do need to look up into getting um, DaVinci Studio because I want to be able to use hardware acceleration when I'm rendering videos. At the moment, everything that's rendered on my PC is rendered solely through CPU rendering, which is fine. But the CPU rendering a video is, I don't know, 20% of what it could do if I added the GPU's power to it because the GPU is powerhouse when it comes to that stuff it's got NVENC in it which is like some insane encoder NVENC is cracking when it comes to encoding It'd be very nice to be able to have um, hardware encoding on the Vichy Resolve I still can't believe it. I used to pay to use Lightworks and be able to fucking edit because Lightworks was the only video editing software that worked on my old laptop. DaVinci was too hardcore even though it didn't have much to it. Like this PC that I have at the moment just breezes through DaVinci like it's nothing. The only bottleneck that I have in my PC at the moment is the, well it was, the hard drive that made it that the video clips just wouldn't load. Now that I've got an SSD it's all fine. It's been fine for a year, so. But uh, I, I am looking at getting a faster SSD, or a bigger one, one or the other. But I might wait for this one to go bang, and then I can get a new one. Somebody to love. Somebody to love. This was a tune when it was on uh, Horizon 1. Someone to 
Somebody to love. Somebody to love. What a fucking cheer. Caffeine. I definitely need the caffeine today. Everybody's looking for somebody to love. Uh -oh. That looked like the Hugo Boss logo, but it's not the same company. That's all. That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. I still find it funny that Joe Lycett legally renamed himself to Hugo Boss just to take the piss out of the company. I think it was originally over like a defamation lawsuit. No, it wouldn't have been defamation. It was copyright infringement, I believe, with this beer company. And they said it was infringing on their name, their intellectual property. So Joe Lysett being Joe Lysett goes, hmm, I'm now called Hugo Boss. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, it's funny. It's very funny. Oh, I've had a stinker. I tried having a drink. It's very difficult to multitask with this car, apparently. Yes, I'm blaming it on the car. Not the fact that I can't multitask. Looking for somebody to love. Don't want to be lonely, just looking for something to love. Everybody's looking for somebody to love. Not bad. Good start so far. Brilliant start so far. 22 minutes and 35 seconds in. Oh, this is a tune. Fucking... This brings back memories of... Uh, Motorstorm Mark Tick Edge. For anyone watching this as a video afterwards and hasn't watched this on the stream, uh, the song that is playing is Go With The Flow by the Queens of the Stone Age. Obviously, this music won't be in the actual videos because I want to get paid by the videos. And the streams are sort of... Well... They they don't get paid for afterwards. What we remember in a way... With the flow. I'm getting faster. Surprisingly, none of my laps have been best laps. Or, n sorry, none of my laps have been clean laps. That's what I'm thinking of. Not best laps. 
little soldiers in a row. Actually, that's a good shout. Does, did the stream get announced in the Discord? I don't think it did. I'm going to have to have a look after this race. Because uh, if it hasn't, that defeats the purpose of actually having the Discord, doesn't it? Believe it in your head. Nice. I can go with the flow. I can go. Do you believe it? In I still can't believe how good the Queens of the Stone Age glass of reset was. Like, that was a fucking good set. From what I saw of it, because I didn't watch the full thing, I didn't go to Glastonbury. But I can imagine from the bits that I have seen. I appreciate it, Goddard. Thanks for letting me know. So, yeah, I'll have to uh, have a look at the Discord then. See if I can get that fixed. Fix it, bitch. Um, yeah, but from what I've seen. I can imagine if you were actually there at Glastonbury, that would have been fucking amazing. Especially the, um, what is it, the Songs for the Dead has, without a doubt, the best introduction of any song in the world. 100%. This is obviously in uh, F123, if anyone's heard f 123 soundtrack. Got a Wilkinson song in there. Last one didn't get announced either. No, because I manually had to do that one. But I thought that was because I did the settings wrong. But uh, if it wasn't the fact that I did the settings wrong and it was actually that it didn't work, then uh, that helps me out. Because then I know. Is it this one, Song for the Death? Yes. Play next. There we go. Ah! Yeah, I'm not very good at multitasking. <laughs> i got to get that practice in. Yo, Goku, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. this Bridgestone Imagine if they had advertising boards that were aimed for drivers as well Like you know games like um, it's the guy from Fortnite <laughs> New to your channel so can I have a shout out I mean me introducing you is kind of a shout out I uh, shout out and introduce everyone. I say, what's up? How are you today, Goku? Hopefully you're having a good day. That kind of stuff. If you're on about, like, channel shout outs, like, shouting out your channel, I don't do that stuff. So. A lot of creators don't do that anyways. Normally, if, if I'm doing, like, a shout-out to a creator, it's mostly because of the fact that I've either featured in their content or they featured in my content or we've worked together on content or whatnot. If, if we work together, then... Ramstein got arrest... Wait, what? No, I didn't hear this. Please, please elaborate. <laughs> I, I need to hear this story because that sounds fucking crazy. Ramstein got arrested. What, like the whole band or just the main guy? Like the main singer? 
Holy fuck. Oh, that's not good. Damn. The lead singer, yeah, fair enough. That's a rip. That's a rip and a half. Oh, that's that reminds me. I need to get the chat appearing on on the screen as well. Cuz at the moment the chat doesn't actually pop up on the actual stream screen, so people can't see when the messages go through. No. No, this isn't it. Oh, it's Song for the Dead. It's this one that I'm looking for. This is the song. What's your best car in Forza? Oh. On Motorsport 3? Oh, that's quite a tough one, actually. Yeah, I might I might have to look into that news article then and have a look. Um, Motorsport 3, I'm... Oh, oh. There's so many different cars in Falls of Motorsport 3. It's, it's kind of difficult. Um... Me personally, I'd probably say it has to be the GTR um, GT3 car. I quite like that. I'm quite impartial to that, the GT3 race car. I think that's quite a good one. But I mean, this is quite an enjoyable car as well. Yeah, I've crashed it a lot because I'm struggling to focus. Multitask is a big oopsie. But um, no, yeah, I'd, prob I'd probably say the. Uh, the R35 GTR race car. The GT3. That's quite a nice one. If you were to say, um, it is definitely very hard when there's lots of cars. But if you were to have said Motorsport 4, I would have said straight away Lexus LFA. Love that car. And that's featured quite early on. Um, or you can you can earn it quite early on um, in Motorsport 4. You still obviously have to progress quite some distance, but Motorsport 4 is a huge game, so it's like within the first ten percent, you've got the car. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, JDMs are are really good cars. I'll, I'll be a hundred percent honest. I like some good JDMs, but <laughs> as well, a lot of the time people overhype up JDMs as well. Hey, no worries, Goku. Thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate it, man. If you did enjoy it, feel free to uh, leave a like and uh, share the stream out or drop a sub. Everything is greatly appreciated. Cotto, welcome to the bronze tier, my man. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. You got a badge now. But you don't get the early access. I thought you would have picked the early access tier for four, to be fair. Oh, if that's all... Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I don't even know if you can upgrade mid-subscription. I'm not actually 100% sure if you can do that or not. But I mean, if you can, if you want to, it will happen to. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be adding... Um, yeah. We got all the way up to the Ruby tier now. We've got all six tiers. So y you can... The cool thing about the channel memberships on my channel, um, a lot of people are only doing, like, one tier. 
So creators that just want a little bit of extra, like, I'm not shitting on them before anyone says. For creators that just want a bit of extra revenue and they don't want to, they just want an easy way for people to show support and whatnot, they'll just have one tier with a bit of thingy and they'll offer maybe, um, I don't know, uh, exclusive live streams or something like that. They'll do something simple that's just boosts it up a little bit. For me, I'm trying, trying to push it. Um, trying to push the memberships as much as possible. And I want to make it as accessible as well. Because a lot of the times with some creators, they charge it like $8.99 a month. And that's the only tier that they've got. Which, I mean, what if people want to show support but don't want to spend $8.99 a month? So mine goes all the way down to 99 pence. So for 99p a month, you can support the channel and just help out here and there. And that 99p surprisingly goes a long way. If, if everyone who tuned in to a video, 99p, I'll be minted. I'll be honest. It'd be ridiculous. Which is why it doesn't require a lot of people to do that. Some craving chili Doritos. To be fair, <laughs> that's a good craving to have. But yeah, like some people might want more. They want, might want a lot out of their membership, and they'll pay more for that. And obviously, those higher tiers are there for those people. But for some people that just want to help support a little bit, that option's there as well. And that's what I like about the the membership that I've got because it's available to all different options. <laughs> YouTube Lurk. I'm pretty sure Lurk is still a thing that's done on YouTube streams, but I don't know. Just saying BRB is fine as well, because I know what BRB stands for. GD. After math. Shaking that ass on the floor, bumping and grinding that pole. <laughs> Music control. It fucked up. <laughs> I I also like as well that um, when people do support the channel, it shows at the top of the screen. And obviously, if someone sends hearts, you see it in the corner as well. That's so cool. I love that. There's so many cool little things on YouTube that I think are so... There's obviously bits that I miss from Twitch. Don't get me wrong. Um, the panels, for example, at the bottom. Panels don't exist anymore, so I have to do old school just text descriptions and whatnot. The, the panels are quite nice on Twitch. I, I like the idea of panels. Someone can scroll down and you've got these fancy graphics and whatnot. Yeah, panels are cool. Even, even if YouTube had like three buttons underneath the video player and you could create custom graphics for each one, that'd be a nice feature for them to add, even if they couldn't do the same thing. Because that could be something and then the comments could be below that, like it is as normal. It's just a couple of extra buttons there that you can... Almost like quick actions. They obviously don't have to work on TV, because TV is completely different anyways. Shake that ass for me. Come on, girl, shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. About four or five minutes. I'm trying to message. I 
I think I might be able to get away again with just not having a pit stop. But I, th I thought the whole purpose and the whole point of these endurance races was to introduce pit stops. I thought that was the whole point of it. So, I don't know anymore. I'm confuzzled, Jun. Come on, girl, shake that ass for me. Shake that ass for me. Hey, turn the music up. Shaking that ass on the floor, grinding that pole. I think I'm losing control. Cheers, Tinder. Thank you. I love the fact that, like, dating apps are supposed to be convenient, right? They're supposed to be there for. You know, make you feel good. Uh, I don't. No, they don't. But they'll always find the worst moments to be like, "Hey, you're lonely. Here's some people that are also lonely, but probably won't take any interest in you." <laughs> it's just like, "Fuck." Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. I'll go and have a glass of espresso depresso. By the way, Cotto, uh, I don't know if you're still there, but uh, are you still wanting that game pass? <laughs> Sorry, do you mean need? Oh shit! Uh oh, I went a bit far. Do you mean need for speed PayPal? Oh, PayPal. Oh, you can't believe you said that. Time to play some Need for Speed PayPal. Oh yeah, Need for Speed Payback, when I was looking at it, the achievements are actually quite extreme. There's some pretty tough achievements to do. <laughs> blame autocorrect for. 100%. Autocorrect is to blame for everything. Let's be real. I also want to unbind this camera button because I keep pressing it by accident. The only button I want to exist is this one. Like being able to press Y to look back. Or triangle in my case because I'm using the PlayStation controller. Don't come at me. I don't care. You use whatever controller you want to use. I'm going to use my PlayStation controller. Restart all 300 fucking skill events. Oh, that's fucking unreal. Yeah, I know. I know some of them are difficult. Stanley. Who's Stanley? You have the DLC as well, fair enough. If you have EA Play, it also gives you a discount on the DLC, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you didn't uh, respond to my query though. Did you want that game pass? Because I thought, because you said some point in July that you were going to work it out. Because if you want it, you can have it, because I'm not going to use it.
Good luck edition from CD Key. To be fair, with EA Play, buying the DLC separately, it probably would have been cheaper than that. But... At least you now own the game, so if you don't have EA Play in the future, you'd still have it. So that's a plus. Yeah, that's fine. It's there till I activate it, so. So here we are. I'm in your head. I'm in your heart. Soak the place and light the flame. Though you said your game pass ran out last 17. So. Ah, fair enough. Dippy dippy dip, dippy dippy dip. dip, dip, dip. Woo Ah, oh, let's go. Joseph Ray. Also known as a third of Nero. This guy makes some fucking bangers. Little bit of curb. A little bit of curb in my life. A little bit of Tina on the side. <laughs> Why are they doing 140 hours a month? That's quite a sketchy contract, because that means on a month where it's longer, you get... Technically, paid less. I'm on a weekly thing, basis, so... Do 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 <sighs> Right, we got eight more laps to go. Do 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 Alright. 
We've got seven more laps to go, which, eh, based on how long it takes us to do a lap, probably going to be looking at A finishing time of about, I'm gonna say an hour and six minutes, around about. Got another car up in front here. I got Doritos. Yo, you're going to get your free Burger King meal with it as well. Because in the UK, pretty much every bag of Doritos you get, you can get a free Whopper meal. Except for the fact we don't actually have a Burger King in Swindon anymore. The Burger King in Swindon set fire. It went burn. And now they don't actually sell Burger King there for... I don't know. I don't want it supposed to open back up, but yeah, all packs of Doritos have Domino's. Uh, not Domino's. Doritos. Uh, Burger King on it. I've got Domino's in my head. I want a pizza. Got some bangers on this playlist, lads. Honda, get the fuck out of the way. Move, hurry up. Pillock. I think you get one free if you buy a meal. Like, you get two Whopper meals for the price of one. If I'm not mistaken. I got a bank here that's got the code in it. I don't think it fucking matters to be fair, because it, it... I ain't got a Burger King. It's not like I set fire to the Burger King. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's all your fault that we've got no Burger King? Like... What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm seeing a little bit of popping. It's so good. I don't, but it's... Technically, this month, I didn't have to pay rent. Because I overpaid the past, like, three months. So, woohoo! But then, the money that I was going to pay rent with, it just went straight to savings. So... <laughs> Brother, you ain't... You ain't get a loan from me. <laughs> I'll start charging interest. You were late on your last payment. <laughs> the, the last time I lent you a tenner, it, it took you two months to pay me back. <laughs> Oh no, my bank account! I got my bank account blocked! Yeah, I'll, I'll 
discuss that kind of stuff off stream. <laughs> I got a new bank card. I got a new account. I'm so happy. I opened my own bank account and my own savings account. I feel like a big boy now. <laughs> Because the problem that I've had, I think this is going to help in the long run. So the problem that I've had with money and spending money is the fact that I never had access to my own savings. Um, so I was never incentivized to save anything. And then on top of that, I'd never had... Uh, what is it? Didn't really have any... Um, another bank account so it was pretty much just everything that I was buying was out of one account so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a hundred pounds in my main account that I have all my bills set up for and the bills are gonna come out of that I'm gonna get paid into that account and then I'm moving everything out into a separate account so that way even if I run out of money by the end of the month, my bills will still get paid. So... <laughs> and then if I don't run out of money, and I've still got money left over, it goes across into savings. And that way I can start looking at buying a car. Though, to be fair, by technicality, I have enough money for a car just I don't have enough money for the first year of insurance because the first year of insurance is going to cost me almost two grand yay fun I'll be right there for you don't walk away no I'm tempted but it costs like 20 grand. But I, I am tempted at looking at a three-wheeler. Just because of the fact that you pay motorbike tax on it. Hello, pigeon. Uh, uh. I am running away from the police. I have found a new house with the pigeon. Uh, uh. <laughs> I fucking love that meme. It's so great. I was stood in town screaming that meme out loud. Hello, pigeon. Uh, uh. <laughs> Mech has hashtag problem. Mech has too much caffeine in his veins. You don't have to be so strong. <laughs> Mech has a lot of problems. I definitely will say I like the grape flavor sneak, but it's it's sort of a B tier flavor. It, it's nice to change it up because I've had so much blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is like an A tier, but the problem is the two flavors that I really like, cherry bomb and uh, sour apple, both were out of stock when I ordered it. This one though, the neon punch, right? Surprisingly, very, very good. That's like A+. Plus. It's not quite S tier. It's not quite like the apple. That one hits different. But it's... It's basically like a tropical with pear, apple, and kiwi to it. It's, it's a very, very nice flavor. 
like I was I was expecting it to be similar on my tier list to uh, what's it called? Great, but it was definitely a risk though buying an entire tub because the tub's forty quid, and just buying a tub without ha ever have tr having tried the flavour. But the fact that I I can go and buy a tub of sneak and not be worried about not liking the flavour. Kind of says something about the brand, doesn't it? The fact that you can just go and buy something and be like, I like that. Don't have to be so strong. Oh! God, my arms would have had to have been strong for that corner. Actually, surprisingly, right, I haven't really been into drinking anything with caffeine until I started work again. And now I've been drinking lots of caffeine. I might only get three videos recorded today. I don't think I'll be going for four hours because I'm I'm only one race in. Yeah, I know. So in terms of caffeine content, right, I normally drink a can, which had 200, but it had all the other crap in it. And I maybe drink two cans. Now I can have a sachet and it's like, fu though to be fair, the past like three days I've had two. A sachet or slash a scoop has 150 milligram. But when I've been making stuff with the tubs like the sachets you sort of just pour the whole sachet in and then just make it I, if i make it with a sachet i'll normally do 500 mils of water and then add some ice cubes to it um if i'm doing a scoop i'll do 500 mils but do like three quarters of a scoop and just have less stuff in the what's what you magic because to be honest i don't need it like the problem that I find with gamer subs, right? I've tried gamer subs, I've tried G Fuel. G Fuel's got quite a lot of sugar in it. So I'm not really a fan of G Fuel that much. Um, when you look at, say, uh, what's it called? Gamer subs. Even though they advertise, like, Oh, there's a hundred servings in each one. It's a hundred servings mixed with 250 mils of water. Right? Yo, nothing but cars, what's up? How do you feel about the new Forza Motorsport coming in October? I'm excited for it. I'll be a hundred I like to play with my... That's pretty. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for the new Motorsport. I'm still a little bit skeptical about the career, but we're, we're all going to be skeptical until it comes out. We, we're skeptical of every career mode nowadays. But from what I've seen, I'm quite sold on it. I'm, I'm excited. Anyways, welcome Nothing But Cars. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Um, if you don't mind me asking, how do you uh, find my stream today? Or have you found me previously through, like, YouTube content? Um, but yeah, going back to it, Game of Subs is supposed to be 250 mils of water with half a sachet. So when you work it out, it's 500 mils per sachet, but it's really weak. It's, it's not got a lot of flavor to it. Whereas this stuff, it recommends a scoop, which is for 300 mils. But I mix it with 500 mils, and it's a lot stronger than 
game as such. So I'll normally put a little bit less in. So I get more out of my money with sneak rather than gamer subs in the work discord that's brilliant i can't believe i did that i got away with it it wasn't intentional for anyone sends this to my boss and is like ah oh, he did it I find it cool to find people playing old forza games that nobody plays anymore also you might like my channel then because I'm playing through every Forza game from, like, start. I've already, uh, if you have a look on my page, I've already done Motorsport 1 uh, and Motorsport 2. Already finished those. I'm about 80% of the way through Motorsport 3 at the moment. So there's loads of Motorsport 3 content there as well. If you want to tune in and give that a watch. Um, but I'll be doing about two Forza streams a week. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you're looking for a channel that does a lot of old Forza content, I, I'm you go to man right now. Um, but no, but seriously, there's, there's going to be a lot of Forza content coming up. Because uh, once I finish this, it's Motorsport 4 and then Horizon 1 and Motorsport 5 and etc, etc. I'm going through every single Forza game till I finish them all. Including the new one. Because by the time we get to the end of the year and the new one comes out, I'll have to play it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited for that when that does come out. We're coming up to the end of this race now. Then I can press stop recording. <laughs> I'm not even going to disagree with that. I am your go-to guy. I am the go-to guy. Because I don't think there is a lot of people playing Forza. Obviously, if you're looking to see some like old Forza content, there's loads of Forza content there. But if you're looking for like a more up-to-date playthrough, and especially with the style of content that I do, I do it's almost like podcast style while I'm playing through. So I'll be chatting with chat about whatever's going. Let's get this guy to the line. There we go. But yeah, I do a lot of like just chatting with chat. So again, there's all sorts of different topics that we discuss uh, as well. Especially if, if chat brings up a topic, we can talk for hours. <laughs> that is my special power. Not bad. And we got some good moolah. And we're now at 2 million credits now. Finally. Lovely. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.